right, welcome back. We are out here at Coco K, and as promised, uh, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the bed that we reserved. This was a, a very smart choice because uh, it is very crowded, uh, popular, uh, and they sold out really quick. Uh, so we had to re we reserved this a while ago, back when we were at home. Uh, we've done this kind of before. We've done a cabana, uh, enjoyed that. We had more people, but because right now it's just uh, me and my wife and my son, so it's just three of us. So we thought a bed was be adequate. Casey needs to conk out, get some shade. You got some lounge chairs here, uh, but I will uh, show you. I'll flip you around, show you a little bit. Uh, but this was really worth it, in my opinion. It's worth, a, I think it was like 300 bucks, maybe a little less, 275. I'd have to double check that. I'll, I'll put it up on the on the screen there, how much it was. So uh, this is uh, Chill Island Beach that we're at. Uh, it's like one of the first beaches that you come to when you come off of uh, the boat onto Coco Cay. And they have these beds in some other places, uh, but there's a whole bunch of them here. But there's not that many. There's a bunch, but there's not that many. Uh, and they, like I said, they sell out quick and it is full. Um, as you can see behind me here, there's a whole bunch there. They stack them in here, money, money, money. Uh, but it's nice, it's a, it's a nice treat. Uh, it, it does really help have uh, your own area to kind of relax, um, get out of the sun, take a nap. If you got kiddos, it's great. They can just kind of crash on the, on the bed itself back there. You can see it, where is it? I'm doing a terrible, there it is, it's right up here. Uh, I'm doing a terrible job of filming today. Anyway, um, so let me, I'll flip you around and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so you come in and there's a, a desk that you have to check in at. Kind of walk you over there and show you that is. It's like this small little hut. So you check in on that hut. And you can't see him. He's like behind that building. So we'll head on back because I ain't walking all the way over there. I'm not doing it. So anyway, so you come over here. Your beds are numbered. There's 27. We're number 25. So this this particular area has three rows of beds. So you have a front row, middle row, and a back row. We're the back row, which I don't really mind because it's quiet back here. And you get a nice view of the ships and the water. So this is us to put your name on the plaque so you feel special. Special VIP bracelet. Uh, and this is what you get. You get a bed. It's a bed. You got some curtains here that you can close if you want. They have them closed right here. And some pillows. It's nice. So they give you some lounge chairs and they do give you an umbrella as well. And they give you a cooler with some water, which is nice. If you bring anything else, you can put it in there. Uh, we have a wagon we've done this rodeo before we live in florida we go to the beach a lot so that is standard equipment for us right there and it folds up i've gotten numerous people asking me about it on the boat already uh, especially people with kids and families that enables us to lug around all of our stuff and it's easier and plus little dude gets tired eventually and he sits in there and i pull him around so all right, and you get some floaty mats. Ours are out in the water with my wife and son, so I'll show you somebody else's floaty mats. And actually, they're pretty handy. We've been using them since we got here. So a good little feature. So you get two mats, two chairs, four waters, an ice, uh, a cooler with ice, and a bed. So there you go. There's a quick overview of what you get. And you get a nice view. So this is good. We took a bunch of pictures up here. Get a nice view off the back. So if you want to be reminded you're on a boat, there they are. So that's it. So I'm going to go enjoy some more beach time and then over to the splash pad. But wanted to show you guys this, or anybody else for that matter that's interested in this. This is what it looks like. And it's worth it. So we'll flip back around. All right, so there you go. There is a quick little uh, summary of the uh, beds that you can that you can reserve for the day. Uh, it's nice. I'm definitely glad we did it. I would do it again. 
Uh, I would do a cabana if we had more people. Like we're doing another cruise in July with a bunch of the family, so I'm probably gonna do a cabana. It's a little, little better when you have a lot of people. But this is nice too, because I think the max you can have here was four, four people, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I'll have to put that on the screen as well. Uh, so that's it. So uh, we will be back with a little more stuff, probably when we go over to like the splash pad stuff. But this was a nice quiet time for me to kind of explain this and show this. So I hope it was helpful. And uh, we'll see you on the next part of this trip on Coco K. See ya.